Porsche has been attracting a lot of attention lately for its electric vehicle endeavors, namely for the Taycan sedan currently on sale, but also for the upcoming electric version of its Mackin small SUV. More recently, spying on the development mule of the upcoming Mackin EV in Germany, showed that it appears to be on track to be introduced in 2023. But what about the rest of the Mackin lineup? Proof that the company isn't ignoring gas engine models came recently when we traveled to Stuttgart to ride a prototype version of the facelifted 2022 Mackin, which will be the current model's seventh year in production. For most automakers, seven years will represent a full generation of vehicles and signal that it is time to introduce a successor. Porsche, however, is once again reworking the existing 10 best winning Mackin the last of which was for the 2019 model year updating it with a refreshed styling revised interior, and a series of tweaks to its conventional powertrain. The number of models in the lineup has also been reduced. When sales begin in the United States later this summer, there will be three models, the Mackin, the Mackin S, and the Mackin GTS. The Tiger Turbo has been removed from the lineup, partially replaced by the upgraded GTS. This latest Mackin exterior changes are fairly light. Up front, there's a new bumper across the lineup and the accent panels at the bottom of the doors have gotten a new texture. At the rear, there is a new bumper with a more prominent diffuser. There's also a revised wheel range, including a 21-inch RS design unit on the GTS prototype that drives. Changes to the interior are also simple, although they make for a more pleasant driving environment. Not allowed to photograph it in detail, but there is a shortened gear selector, a new multi-function steering wheel, a new digital instrument cluster, and an updated center touchscreen. The Mackin GTS adds a GT Sport steering wheel from the 911 along with sport seats and various Alcantara trim pieces. The new GTS will provide similar performance to the previous turbo. Under the hood of the GTS is a twin-turbo 2.9-liter V6 rated for 434 horses and 406 pound-feet of torque and should propel the SUV to 60 miles per hour in the same 3.5 seconds. The 375-horsepower version of the 2.9-liter that previously used the GTS now calls the Mackin S home. In the base model, this output 2.0-liter turbo 4 bumps up to 261 horsepower and 295 pound-feet gains of 13 and 22, respectively. The GTS prototype certainly benefits from the turbo's heart transplant with a bigger low-end snort and a stronger pull through its midrange, though it's still willing to crank up to a 6,800 revolutions per minute redline. Those who find the Mackin Turbo a little less dramatic will surely prefer the new GTS and its horse exhaust, which can be easily lowered for quiet cruising. This broad flexibility is underpinned by continuous refinement of the responsive and almost alert Porsche 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. But what sets the GTS apart is its handling, which feels sharper and quieter than before. Few, if any, SUVs stand out for their dynamic qualities, but this one is for sure. Porsche has done a lot of detailed work here, including revisions to the adaptive dampers and air springs, which are 10% stiffer at the front and 15% tighter at the rear. The prototype we were driving was also equipped with sticky Pirelli P0 Casa summer tires, measuring 265 40ths R21 at the front and 295 35ths R21 at the rear. On the road, the GTS's sharp steering feels well-weighted and perhaps more engaging than you'll find in other SUVs. Aided by standard all-wheel drive and an optional torque vector rear axle, our prototype exhibits exceptional calm and agility in corners, as well as a large amount of grip. As before, ride quality is decent enough in the suspension's default comfort mode but sturdy enough in sport it's almost too tight on poorly maintained surfaces. However, there's excellent wheel control over bumps, and the ride never feels particularly harsh. There's a welcome familiarity with the revised Tiger, but one can also feel the improvements. There's a more purposeful exterior look, and detailed interior changes give it a more contemporary feel if not more spacious, which we've always described as intimate. Porsche it's the Mackin GTS driving experience that will win over potential buyers more than anything else. Yes, this is a prototype and our driving time was limited to mostly traveling in convoy with the Porsche development team.
Shit.